So I decided to do my video outside today. It's kind of like I'm in a giant salad. I'm really excited because today my video has parts. Part one, the intro. Part two, crouton alert. Now, Alexander, you actually came up with the crouton alert when you sent me a text message stating crouton alert, code red, when you had posted a video one week. I'm still not entirely sure why it was code red. I think you said it was because I wasn't responding to your other supposed texts and voicemail messages, which I hadn't gotten. But anyway, I really like the idea of a crouton alert. For some reason, YouTube doesn't actually have an option to notify you every time a channel posts a video individually. They just send you kind of this update every periodic, undefinable amount of time. And then Maumeda was saying that she wants to be notified when we post a video because she can't be bothered to check our YouTube channel every day, even though she's our Maumeda. And there's some other people who've been wanting to be notified about our videos. Also, you know, maybe it'd be cool if we notified each other when we post a video so we know the instant it's been posted and we can go and check it. So I propose that we institute an official crouton alert system. Maybe we can have code red and code yellow and various coded colors, maybe not, I don't know. Here's what I propose. Anyone who's interested in being notified whenever a sister salad video is posted, email sistersalad at gmail.com and say, I would like to be added to the crouton alert list. And we'll make a list and then anytime any one of us posts a video, we will send out a quick email to all the crouton alert listers and that will be your notification that a new sister salad video has been posted. Part three, moving. So as you know, I helped my friends Kate and Amy move into their new apartment. It was a lot of fun. They have a really great apartment. I'm very excited. I'm a little jealous that they'll be living together and I won't be getting to live with them, but who knows what next year will bring. I really enjoyed moving. I kind of decided it's a superpower that I have been given because pretty much everything involved in moving, I really enjoy packing things into cars, driving cars long distances with things in them, taking things out of cars, carrying things upstairs, unpacking, organizing, putting things in drawers and cabinets I really enjoy, putting together Ikea furniture, making lists of things that would be useful to have, all of that stuff I really enjoy. So it was really fun. Plus I got to hang out with my two best friends besides you guys. So that was cool. The worst part was parking, unsurprisingly. It was only two hour parking on their street. You couldn't park overnight there. So I had to go move my car a lot and find weird places to park. And you know, traffic is just a pain driving around. It takes five minutes to get around the block. The best part is that now whenever I'm talking to them, I can picture where they are and I know their neighborhood and I know their apartment. I've met some of the crazy characters that will be in their life, their neighbors and stuff like that. I always really like that kind of thing. Part four, salad ingredients. So we have mamados and we have dadishes. And then I was wondering what other ingredients might be in a salad. And then I was wondering what ingredients would my sisters be if they were in a salad? And you know, what ingredients would anyone be if anyone was in a salad? I mean, if we're sister salad, we're each some kind of ingredient in a salad. And I was wondering what kind of salad we made and what kind of salad other groups of people would make. And that's kind of an interesting thing. Maybe if you knew what ingredients everyone would be if they were in a salad, then you could figure out who would be your friends based on what ingredients your ingredient would make a good salad with, or maybe that wouldn't really actually work at all. Anyway, when I was in Washington, I asked a bunch of the cool people that I told you about in my Washington video what ingredient they would be if they were in a salad, and I wanted to show you their answers. Here I am in the garden, uh, needing to answer the question what I would be if I were in a salad. And I'm finding it very difficult because I love salad and I love all these vegetables around me, but I think that I would probably be a kale salad. I would steam the kale briefly, and then delicious, nutritious, and wonderfully good. I'm a crouton. <laughs> Why? Because when you make a salad, it seems like they're so important, indispensable, and then they get soggy, and then when you're done with the salad, they're all in the bottom, swimming around in the gold of the diamond. If I were to be in a salad, I would be green beans. Because I love green beans in a salad, uh, I would be a tomato. How come? Because I like those two. Tomatoes! I eat juice, croutons. Is that what you said? Yeah. Because they're crunchy and hard to eat. And I wouldn't want to eat them. So I guess then the croutons is probably the least likely thing to get. I think if I were an ingredient in a salad, I would be pine nuts because they're nutty and I like nutty and I like pine nuts and they're yummy and they're kind of unique and unusual and they have this subtle flavor, but it's distinct. You don't really miss pine nuts necessarily when they're gone, but when they're there, you're like, 
That was interesting. You might have noticed that I put pine nuts in the background of my personal channel. That was a little hint. And in Visitus, you might have noticed that I put carrots in your background. Mostly I just thought they would look cool. It wasn't necessarily a preemptive assessment of your salad ingredient personality. Although I think it's possible you would be carrots. I mean, I know you don't really like carrots or know many vegetables, so I'm interested to see what ingredient you choose. Probably croutons. I'm gonna guess you go with croutons, but you can feel free to change your background to fit whatever ingredient you do choose as your own. I'd also be interested to know what ingredient you guys think I would be. If you agree that I would be a pine nut or if you think that there's another ingredient I would be. Bye bye! This part is also a technical vlog related part. I've been noticing that sister salad, though it has been incredibly awesome, has been somewhat lacking in what I'm going to call vlicipline. What I mean by a lack of vlicipline is when we started this project we had a set of guidelines to which we wanted our vlogs to adhere and we've done pretty well with some of them but all of them have been broken at least once. There have been videos without secret objects, there have been videos without best and worst, there have been videos without something you don't know about your sister, there have been videos longer than four minutes, there have been weeks without videos, and that's all well and good. I mean, we're just getting used to the project, but the thing is that very, very soon, kind of scarily soon, I am going to be departing for my next great adventure and no longer living with you guys here in St. Nathaniel. And I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna be really excited about this project. I'm gonna be checking it all the time. And so I think maybe we should get a little more serious about it. So I am proposing what I would like to call the PPP, the Peso Penalty Plan. How this would work is we would assign certain monetary values in pesos for the various offenses I mentioned before and maybe some other offenses that we can think of. And anytime you commit one of these offenses, you will owe each of your sisters that number of pesos. I volunteer to keep a chart of the peso owing. It would look something like this. Alexandra, Invisicis. How many S's in Invisicis? Liz. And you would have arrows going from one sister to the other and inside each arrow there would be a number representing the number of pesos that one sister owed the other and the direction of the arrow would show which direction the peso owing went. It'd be easiest if you kept it on a whiteboard as opposed to a piece of paper. Anyway, I volunteer to be the one keeping track and I promise not to allow that responsibility to corrupt me. I'm not exactly sure what we'll do with this peso owing system, whether actually you'll have to pay your sister pesos and we'll have to somehow acquire a bunch of pesos or maybe there'll be ways to lower your peso debt by performing various challenges or requests for your sisters. I mean, we could do punishments too maybe, I don't know what you guys think about that. Anyway, I think there are some interesting possibilities. Basically it's just having some minor system of accountability so that, you know, we can maintain a basic level of discipline. So we just have to decide how many pesos each offense will cost. I'm going to email you guys a peso penalty proposal in which I list the offenses I think should be penalized and assign peso values to each of those. You guys can feel free to suggest adjustments to those numbers and add or subtract offenses as you see fit. So pending your approval, I'm going to officially declare this week the last week of laxity. And henceforth, beginning next week, the peso penalty plan will be in progress. I think that's all the parts I have for the moment, so I'm gonna go. I will most likely be making my next video in my new apartment, which is very exciting, a little scary. I don't know where I'll be uploading it from.